Hi there! Here is the newly launched CrossFit Ignite Pro. Now what really impresses me about CrossFit devices is their attention to detail and build quality. Like this one comes with a metal build, then it has all the usual fitness tracking, heart rate sensor, SpO2 sensor, even blood pressure monitoring and now it also comes with temperature monitor. Can you imagine the price? Just $2,999. Wow, that sounds like a really killer deal. So let's quickly unbox it, we'll have a closer look at it. Also we'll be doing a giveaway of these crossbeat neckbands and the MRP of this is $6,999. So they're definitely worth fighting for. Watch this video till the end to know how you can win these. Let's begin. So here is the retail packaging of the Crossbeat Ignite Pro. You can see the image of the watch right in the front. Towards the back you can see some list of its features which we shall cover in detail in this video. QR code for the CB Active app manufacturing details and the MRP which is $9,999. Alright, designed to deliver without wasting any time. Let's quickly unbox it. Okay. Hello, Namaste, Namaste Ji, Ignite Pro Quick Start Guide. And here is the watch itself. We'll have a closer look at it in just a moment. A proprietary charging dock. And a user manual which is in English. Good. Alright, let's have a closer look at it. Let's remove the sticker or the screen protector. And let's unbuckle it. Okay, so the first thing that gets my attention is the quality. You know it's a premium watch the moment you set your eyes on it. Can you have a look at that strap? That silicone strap with that textured design, it's really nice. And it's a good quality strap. You can feel it. It's a really solid, though very flexible, but you can feel that it's a premium strap. Square dial and it has a chrome bezel, which is really nice, though it's a little matte chrome. But it's really nice, this is a metal body which makes it look even more premium. Buckle design strap, you can see the cross bead branding here. Chrome buckle, really really nice. Moving towards the back, oh wow. So you can see the sensors, SpO2 sensor, heart rate sensor and the charging terminals. If you look closely, it also mentions its IP67 waterproof rating. Now these straps obviously can be replaced with other bands. There you go, simply pull the hook and it will detach. Really easy, something we have been seeing in many smartwatches nowadays. There you go, fit. And I have to say this, the build quality is really impressive. So let's pair the watch. And first thing you're going to need is the CB Active app, which is available for the Play Store and the App Store. You come into Me and here, Add Devices. Now you take your watch, press the button on the side, press and hold. You see the crossbeat branding, leave it aside. And there you go, Ignite Pro is showing up. Click, please confirm on the watch. Okay, confirm, it's checking for updates. Pair, there's also a firmware update, which I would highly recommend you do. Update immediately. There you go, it's updating. So once this update is downloaded, it will restart the watch and install it. The process took barely one or two minutes. Alright, let's have a closer look at that display. So the first thing to notice is that it's really crisp and sharp. You can read the small text very clearly. Also, it goes almost edge to edge. And what better than an analog watch face to see the borders. Now this is a 1.7 inch IPS LCD display and it should get really bright enough as well. Let's change the watch face and see. There you go, looks pretty nice, it's clear. Also worth mentioning, even though this is an LCD display, the blacks are really nice. Let's change it further. Wow, the color reproduction is also very impressive. Looks really nice. Also, Crossbeat claims that it gets bright enough. 500 nits of peak brightness is what they claim. And yes, it gets really bright. So it should be good enough to be worn outdoors. But of course, right now we are indoors, so we'll reduce the brightness to save some battery. Then you can see that the bezel on the sides are really thin, though a little thick at the bottom. But since this is a 1.7 inch display, it's really big enough for your wrist and you won't notice that either. Alright, so I've finally worn the watch and the fit is so good. 
the strap looks so premium i've already said that before but i can't resist saying this again even the buckle matches with the chrome body which looks really really nice let's see the wake the display okay that's pretty good wow that's fast enough okay that was a little slow okay so raise the wrist to wake the display works pretty well so I usually cover something like watch faces later in this video but I couldn't resist talking about it so early because it has the one of the most amazing looking watch faces check those out now if like you're an Apple watch fan you know this is the one that will just go perfectly and there's so many options check that out check this out synchronize and there you go looks really nice and there are so many more like these you can even custom set here custom dial you can choose the image, you can choose the background, you can choose if you want an analog watch, you can choose the pointers, you can choose your workout and widgets, you can choose the dial direction, where you want the time to be set, it's just amazing. I'm actually very excited with the kind of watch faces that Crossbeat is providing. See the options are not way too many, but they are really good. So the watch comes with IP67 rating, so dust and water resistant. You can wear it in the rain or at the gym and it will be fine. However, I won't recommend you wear it while taking a shower or in the pool. Let's have a quick look at the interface. Swipe right, you can access the weather. Swipe further, you can access the music player, so you can control the music that's playing on your phone, including the volume. Further, you can see the sleep tracking, activity of the day, heart rate, and you're back to the home page. Now, if you swipe the other way around, you have the same menu all over again. If you swipe from down, you can access the menu. We'll come back to it in just a moment. Swipe from top, you can access the torch when the whole display turns white, which works as a torch. Then you have do not disturb. Then you have the brightness level that you can adjust from here. Reminds me so much of iOS. Okay, then you have vibration alerts, find my phone and themes. Now what happens in themes? This is theme one, you come to theme two. And when you come here, you'll find all the apps in icon format. Now, this is a matter of personal preference. I still prefer the list look. And finally, let's check out this. You have the QR code, you have the settings. In settings, you can adjust the brightness, the theme again, power off, about, and factory mode. Coming back, then you have temperature monitor where you can actually check the temperature of your body from your watch. That's an amazing feature, which we shall just check out in a moment. Then there's sports modes, there's record, activity, heart rate, blood pressure, SPO2 monitor, sleep tracking, stopwatch, all your notifications, schedule, find phone, alarms. Now alarms you can't set from the watch itself, you will have to use the Crossbeat app. There's also stress monitoring, menstrual cycle monitoring for women, there's a camera shutter, there's a weather app, there's a timer, there's a music. My god, this watch is feature packed. Whatever you want, it has it. Overall, I'd like to say that the interface is also very responsive. It was previously not as smooth, but now I feel that it's much more responsive than I've seen before. So let's check out if that heart rate sensor works if it's kept on a table. Now I've been waiting for more than a minute and there are just no results, which means it's not working if it's kept on the table. Now let's wear it and see. All right, let's see now. And there you go. So only if you wear your watch will it work. All right, let's check out blood pressure. And we got 105 by 72. Now let's check out SpO2. And meanwhile, we'll also use an oximeter. And there you go, you can see it's 99 on the oximeter and 97 on the watch. Let's check out the temperature monitor. 96.8, wow. So this is really good, you can use the watch. Now I'm not sure if this watch can actually replace a thermometer, which I would not recommend you ever do, but still, just for reference, it's a good device to have on your wrist. So let's check out the sports modes and the Ignite Pro has 10. Let's check them out. So you have run, walk, climbing, treadmill, cycling, spinning, yoga, basketball, football, badminton, and your records. So it's got a mix of all of them, but the good thing is that even though since the watch doesn't come with built-in GPS, it uses your phone's GPS to track and map your workout more accurately, which is really good. 
Let's check out call alerts and notifications. There you go. So the moment it rang on the phone, it started ringing on the watch. It was instantaneous. You can see the caller's name. You have an option to reject the call and even answer the call. But when you answer the call, you will have to talk using your phone. And once you answer the call from the watch, you cannot end it from here. And we also receive app notifications. You can see the sender's name. You can read the message and you can also delete it. There's no way to reply to an incoming message. Coming to the battery. So we don't have any info about the size of the battery, but yes, Crossbeat claims seven days with typical use. Now battery life will vary for everyone depending on how they use the watch. I've used this watch very briefly and the battery drain was pretty minimal. So expect it to last for about five days. So let's have a quick look at the interface. So once you go inside the app on the status page, you can actually see the steps you've taken, outdoor workouts, heart rate, your blood pressure, your oxygen levels, sleep tracking, your body temperature, your weight, which you actually have to enter in manually. You can see the weather. If you come into me, you can see your account in your devices. But first, there is this font repair. At times it happens that there are some fonts which are not clearly visible on your watch. You can press the font repair button, the same UI repair button. Then there's personal information that you can put from your age, weight, everything, all those details. In settings, you have an option to share your data with Apple Health or Strava. Now, since this is an iPhone, you can share it with Apple Health. If this was an Android phone, you could probably even do it with Google Fit. Then there's auto data sync, check for updates, remove account and data storage. Then if you come into your device is where you can do a lot more other settings like watch face. This I just showed you. Then in push message, you have an option to turn on and off incoming call alerts or even choose from which apps you want notifications and from which apps you don't. Further, there's an anti lost reminder. Do not disturb. You can set your alarm clock from here. Sedentary reminders, unit of measure, date format, vibration, backlight, wake the screen on raised wrist, body temperature detection, heart rate monitoring, schedule, watch language settings and firmware update. So overall a very simple, clean, easy to use interface. Okay, talking about cons. Well, there's no calling feature like we've seen in many other crossbit devices, but the good thing is that you can answer the call and then talk from your phone, which if you see can be really helpful. You know, at times we can't find our phone when it's ringing and we miss out on that important call. Now you can at least answer that call and then look for your phone around here, which if you look at it right now, more than a con is actually a pro, which is a good thing. So the Ignite Pro truly has an impressive build and design. The strap looks really premium and is very comfortable. You can get the Crossbeat Ignite Pro for just $2,999 with the black or silver strap. And if you want the pink or blue strap, it will be for $3,299. Now this will be going on sale today on the Crossbeat website and you can buy it from there or from Amazon. Also, these prices are just pre-booking prices. Expect them to go up by 500 rupees in a couple of days. So grab them right away. By the way, the one I'm wearing is a blue strap with a silver body. I'll leave the links for all in the description. If you like to buy one or even two, you should definitely check it out. All right, time for the neckband giveaway. I'll keep it very simple. First, subscribe to my YouTube channel, Texting. Second, hit that like button. You'll find that right below this video as well. And third, make sure you comment down below your favorite feature of the Crossbit Ignite 2. Now, once the likes cross 2000, I'll pick one winner. But remember, the like target has to be achieved in one month from this video going live. So get going right away. Subscribe, like and comment. Super simple. Share this video with your friends and family so that we can pick a winner as soon as possible. So I hope this video was helpful. If there are any questions, mention them down in the comments. I'll be happy to answer them. Until next time. Cheers.